John is a regular at this series, and um, he is on the faculty of the Boston University School of Music. He'll be playing music from his uh, award-winning CD uh, called Noel, A Classical Guitar um, Christmas, and that CD is on uh, sale at the end of the concert. Please give a warm welcome to John Moratori. Thank all of you for coming out today. You know, it's a really busy time of year for everyone, and to uh, take time out to, to sit still and <laughs> listen to some music. It's a great thing. So, uh, as George mentioned, I'm going to be playing mainly selections from uh, a CD I did a few years ago called Noel a Classical Guitar Christmas, uh, which is comprised mainly of uh, arrangements that I've done of various uh, hymns and, uh, and carols mostly vocal music originally, but uh, stuff that, that works on the guitar as well. And uh, the first thing I'd like to play is a Catalan uh, melody called uh, El Noi de la Mare, which uh, means the son of the mother or the mother's child. And it's a traditional uh, Christmas carol uh, from the northeastern part of Spain. And the, uh, the setting for this one was done by Miguel Llobet, who is a great Spanish guitarist from the early 20th century. And uh, this arrangement was made famous by uh, the great Andres Segovia, who used to use this piece as, a, as an encore piece, regardless of the season of the year. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is El Noi de la Mare, uh, arranged by Miguel Llobet. piece is, uh, is one of the oldest tunes uh, entitled, it's in Dolce Jubilo, which also is known as uh, Good Christian Men Rejoice. Uh, those words in English were written for this tune in about the middle of the 19th century. Uh, but this, the original tune comes about from about 1400. And the words 
uh, the original text, which is both in uh, Latin and German, uh, come from the, the middle of the 14th century. They were they appeared to to a, to a German monk named uh, Heinrich Soisa. Uh, the, so the story goes, he heard uh, angels singing these words, and he joined them in a dance of jubilation at the, at that moment. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't recorded, but <laughs> so you won't find it on YouTube. However, the words survive and the tune survives, and uh, it's one of the more enduring of, of Christmas tunes. In dolce jubilo. So this is an arrangement that I made. That, Combines elements of several other arrangements. Next is our two different uh, tunes put together back to back and at, some, at one point simultaneously for a short few measures. It's uh, In the Bleak Midwinter, which is uh, an English uh, melody from about the early 20th century. The words were written by Christina Rossetti and the music was set by mm. Christoph Holst. And I've decided to combine this with Lo, How a Rose, Er Blum, mm. or Es ist ein Rosensprungen, which is the original German text. And there's several connections that I find with these two, They're both originally in the same key of F, uh, but be beyond that, it uh, textually, I think it works together in the bleak midwinter, lo how a rose air bloom. And, mm -hmm. the, um, and like I said, at one point, the two tunes actually work together uh, simultaneously.
this next piece comes from uh, the uh, organ repertoire. Uh, it's a piece written originally for solo organ by the uh, 18th century virtuoso uh, Louis-Claude Dacan called Noel. And I first became aware of this tune uh, when I was uh, working with Bob de Cormier, Robert de Cormier, who is a great choral conductor and arranger. And he had made an arrangement for chorus and organ, alternating verses with the organ and with the chorus singing this tune, which he originally made this arrangement with E. Power Biggs, if you're familiar with that organist from a while back. And uh, I always loved this tune and uh, figured out a way to play most of it on the guitar. <laughs> so this is uh, my arrangement of Noel by Dakin.
soon as I figured out that double trill, <laughs> I knew I had to do the piece. And I, I thought I couldn't do it because I couldn't figure it out. And then one day, about a year after I looked at it, it came to me to do a little trick to make it work. Uh, this next tune is, a, uh, is from Paraguay by the great uh, guitarist and composer Agustin Barrios. And it's a Viancico de Navidad, Christmas Carol. And Barrios, for those of you who aren't familiar with him, he wrote some, some of the most beautiful music written for guitar. He's really like the Chopin of the guitar. Hmm. And uh, he was quite a character. Uh, but at times he would, um, to, to, I guess maybe to boost attendance at his uh, performances, he would bill himself as uh, Nitsuga Mangare and, and dress up in uh, indigenous garb because he was of the indigenous peoples of Paraguay. And uh, I said, from the wilds of Paraguay comes the <laughs> brilliant <laughs> guitarist, Nitsuga Mangare. Nitsuga was Augustine spelled backwards. <laughs> Man after my own heart. I'm always spelling things backwards. That's what they sound like. Um, and the Mangare was a name I think he uh, attached to his indigenous uh, people. So Augustine Barrios, this is his Biancico uh, de Navidad. Next is a tune known, known to you all, I'm sure. Uh, it's based on the old English folk song, Green Sleeves, and which also became uh, the Christmas Carol, What Child Is This? And uh, my good friend and brilliant jazz guitarist, uh, Gene Bertensini, did an arrangement of Green Sleeves that he, uh, that he gave me to, to look over. I heard it on one of his recordings, and uh, it's just fabulous. He does a very jazz up version, but it goes beyond the standard uh, chord kinds of substitutions that you hear in jazz. But I decided to precede the Greensleeves arrangement with uh, a, a more traditional version of What Child Is This? So 
the traditional version begins and then Gene Bertoncini's arrangement of Greensleeves follows. piece is a French uh, carol called uh, Écoutons donc les aubades, uh, we've come here to serenades. And this is an arrange. well, the original arrangement of this was for chorus and, uh, and guitar and flute. 
uh, and maybe percussion, done by, again, by Robert de Cormier, uh, the great choral arranger who now lives in Vermont. And I decided to take his choral arrangement and make it into a guitar arrangement, because I thought it was pretty nifty, and uh, some of the stuff works pretty well just on solo guitar. So this is a guitar arrangement of Bobby Cormier's choral arrangement of <laughs> this, this French carol, uh, Echo, Écoutant, Écoutant dans les Aubades. It requires a little bit of a different tuning. <laughs> Part momentarily from the Christmas music and uh, do a couple of pieces that are just uh, standard classical guitar uh, rep. One is the mo probably the most famous piece, one of the more famous pieces for guitar uh, by Francisco Tarrega uh, called Recuerdos de la Alhambra. So it's the Alhambra remembrances of that great uh, Moorish temple that's built in southern Spain. And it uh, uses the technique of tremolo, which is a repeated note pattern along then with the thumb playing uh, a counter part uh, in the harmony. And then that will be followed by uh, Studio, Estudio Brillante, Brillante, also by uh, Francisco Tarrega. And these pieces are on uh, a CD that I recorded last year uh, 
called Favoritas, which means favorites.
following tune is one that's I've, that I was always intrigued by. It's called Down in Yon Forest. And it's, uh, it's an old English tune. It's, it's been recorded by many people, I found. If you look it up, all kinds of folk singers and, and also uh, more uh, classically sing trained singers. And the text uh, has uh, lots of different references in it. It has to the Nativity, to the Eucharist, and also some of the uh, Arturian legend uh, as well. So there's a lot of, like a, a mix-up of, of different, uh, different mm -hmm. stories in this song. And it's always, I always found the melody somewhat haunting. Some people sing it slowly, some people sing it quickly. I've always heard it more slowly. And so I decided to treat it a little bit mysteriously uh, in a way, at least at the beginning and at the end. Another one of my favorite tunes, <laughs> Christmas tunes, is uh, Bring a Torch, Jeanette Isabella. And uh, this is an arrangement that I did one summer. <laughs> uh, it's about 90 degrees outside, and uh, I know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll arrange some Christmas tunes. <laughs> and uh, anyway, that, I've always loved this, this tune. It's also a French uh, carol.
the things I've always loved about Christmas music was the Charlie Brown Christmas <laughs> special and all that music, and uh, Vince Guaraldi's uh, beautiful compositions and arrangements have stayed with us all these 50 years. Uh, it's been, yeah, this was the 50th anniversary of that, of that mm -hmm. special being on television. Mm -hmm. And uh, it still endures today, the music, and I think even the, even the, even the, the show is still great. And so I've combined a couple of them, the, uh, his arrangement of O Kannenbaum, or Christmas Tree, and then uh, Christmas Time is Here, and then uh, following that is an arrangement of mine of uh, Adeste Fidelis, which is O Come All Ye Faithful, which isn't Vince Guaraldi, but it kind of starts a little like him and then goes somewhere else. <laughs>
So this is in the same key as the last song. Uh, <laughs> it's called Danza Pomposa, and it's by Alexandra Tansman. <laughs> 